ages. Oh my god, but look at this screenshot. We're already in and I'm just like, yep, I need more of this in my life. Thank you very much, uh, Dominic Tabe, for the follow. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Oh god, I, I was almost using WSD to move around because I got so used to it in train sim fe uh, in transport fever. Right, we're at rugby. The two platform things are changed, split apart. Only a four car today, though. Only a four car. Are there any side? Oh yes, there's side uh, platform things here. That makes sense. Oh. Stand clear. The trains are ready to depart. Right. Oh, are these the ones with the announcements? I'm not too sure, actually. Uh, I don't think so. I think this is just the standard 350. That's all good. I have to remember that there are neutral sections on this uh, on this map. And there's no passenger view. Oh, yeah, so this is just the standard one. It's not the one... Uh, as announcements. Next station is Nun Eaton. I really hope in Trains and World uh, we have more door control than T. Yeah, I, I I really hope so too. Like just just more features, more like you know. Like sure, have the simple features, but have a have something a bit more advanced that we can configure. We can, you know. I'd love to see um, with um, you know with passenger door control, like where not all the doors open. I hope that's going to be something where like a passenger, like if the passenger feature or how I don't know how it's going to be in Train Sim World, but like say if a passenger walks up to the door, they press the door. Or like they go near the door and the door opens at that per like point. Not all the doors open. That's one thing I'm really, I feel like now on, on mainly around the network, it's mainly doors that open by the uh, the by the passenger pressing the button instead of uh, all the doors opening. And that's very rare that you get trains nowadays with an all door release in in use. So it'd be really cool if we can have like select select door operation really. So like the driver releases the doors and then the passengers open what doors they uh, they need. Is this a neutral section? I'm not even sure. You know. See you, tree. Thank you very much for the f uh, for joining the stream today, and thanks for following as well today. I uh, hope to see you in another stream, hopefully. Hello, Pinder Productions. Welcome, welcome. Also known as unlocking the doors or releasing, yeah. Let me slow down a bit, I think, now. Oh, crap. Apologies. Oh, what, oh, what did I do? Oh. What happened? What did I do? Did I... Oh. Yeah. That's why you don't do things at speed, kids.
Well, train some more devil to the UK. That probably would be quite good. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is that's being released is the, you know, the Great Western Main Line from Paddington to Reading. Oh, I remember this. This route's always laggy. Slow down a bit, down to 75. No problem, train sim. I dream of the day that you can go from Euston to Birmingham New Street and train to him, yeah. I'm really, like, kind of puzzled why they haven't done, a, like, that route yet in the current version of Train Sim. Like, I don't understand what, you know, because it's a very popular route, but it just hasn't been touched. Virgin Pendolino. Looking very sexy. Licensing. Licensing for what? If it's virgin, if it's just virgin, then that's a bit odd. I kind of find it a bit odd that they released the Pendolino, like, back in the day. Like, what, why did they release the Pendolino back in the day when there was only, really, there was only like, what, the West Coast Main Line North, I think? London over new London overcome trains are alright. Hello Trucker Joe. How you doing? What equipment do you use for train sim? What do you mean what equipment do I use for train sim? Like do I use a rail driver or just do I use mouse and keyboard? I have a rail driver, I don't use it. Um, I just use mouse and keyboard. Virgin, that's why we have uh, the LMS Pendolino and the only name for it is Mission Impossible. Okay. Good to know, Trucker Joe, good to know. See a bit, King Twinkie? When are you getting back into OMSI 2? I do not know that question. I really would not be able to truthfully answer that. Are we waiting for the London add-on? Let's just say I am waiting for the London add-on. That, that's a good one, actually. Yeah, let's just say we're, I'm waiting for the London add-on. Have you been on TFL Rail, Crossrail, Aventra? No, I've not. What other game do you have planned for the future? What do you mean, for the future? Oh my god, this map just is n it's like one of the least smoothest maps, there's nothing, there's not even detail or anything in it, but it's still just 
has really bad performance issues. Waiting for Danish DLC. Oh, is this a new? I don't even know how, how to tell when I and when I enter a neutral section that I'm supposed to. Don't even know. I hope Lotus Sim comes out rather sooner than later. Oh my god, 8 FPS, Jesus Christ. One game I'm actually very excited about, and it probably it, it probably won't interest any of you guys, but um, it's a it's a sports game, um, and I was I I was so happy to know that there's actually going to be a new game coming out for it uh, because like if you don't know I'm very much into tennis, and there has not been a good tennis game for years. I'm talking about 2011 time when we had like a, a good tennis game, and that tennis game was um, Top Spin Top Spin Four. And uh, there was also another one, EA Grand Slam Tennis 2, which was like alright, but Top Spin was much, much, much better. And the producers of Top Spin are, uh, are working on a new uh, tr uh, tennis game uh, called Tennis uh, Tennis World Tour, and I am absolutely stoked for that. Like very much, like probably more exciting than anything that like I cover simulation wise, because like. Like I I I, don't, like, I just love tennis and I love tennis games and I like played like all the old virtual tennises and um, all the top spins and all the, like grand slam tennises and 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 tennis elbow which is on PC which I play quite a lot of still and I absolutely just love like I hate any other sport game like I hate FIFA hate NBA hate all these kind of other sports games think they're absolutely just just can't stand sports games but if it's tennis I'm in like I am engaged oh yeah I absolutely absolutely love tennis I wa I watch quite a lot of it and uh, oh, I'm not I watch pretty much most of the Grand Slams and a few of the kind of uh, like 500 or 250 uh, kind of series uh, tournaments and some of the Master Series during the the, the year. Um, but mainly the Grand Slams. Like I always watch Wimbledon. I always kind of will try and watch like the Australian Open or French Open, and the U.S. Open is probably the least one I watch. But I'll definitely be watching it this year. See if my man Federer can get number 20. The only sport you like is eSport or bowling. Okay. Well, I like sports. I like like the best sport I play is badminton. Like I'm a very good bad badminton player. I trained in it for a good number of years, and I just always like racket sports. Like I've always liked tennis. I always wanted to do tennis, never got the opportunity to, and then did badminton and said, "Oh, hello, Virgin Pendolino there. Hello." That's not fair. You caught me off guard there. We could have had a little race.
But yeah, Tennis World Tour is a game I'm at. It's coming out in 2018. I am absolutely stoked for it. Probably my top game of 2018 right now. Nothing will top it. Like, like there, ha there would have to be something immensely, like, just like it would have to be something that would mind like m like blow my mind if it was to beat this game coming out. Because like I've waited since 2011 for a tennis game. 2011. That is like six years we're talking about here. Like, there's no simulation game that will, like, I don't know, maybe Train Some World Multiplayer will, will maybe do some things, but, like, I would need something, like, Lotus doesn't really interest me, uh, what else is that? There's not really much on the horizon in terms of simulation, I don't even know what other kind of things are there, there's not, there's really nothing. If a really good ship simulator came out, I'd be very super stoked for that. Um, yeah, that, other than that, I don't really know what else I'm stoked for. I have Wanker Elbow, okay. I actually got Tennis Elbow not too long ago, it was really painful, like, from playing tennis. <laughs> like, literally, like, my whole shoulder to elbow and my socket was just like destroyed. It was horrible. Like normally when I play badminton there's not really much I like I sometimes maybe overdo my wrist. Which like in badminton all you really use is your wrist. You don't really, you use your arm but if your if your arm is hurting at the end of a badminton session you're playing completely wrong. Like your wrist is basically your power, your everything in, in badminton, while in tennis it's the whole arm, it's the whole swing action, it's all of it together and uh, yeah next station is Atherstone I have quite a nice, nice, nice array of stations to go today Are you a fan of episodic choice games? Uh, give me an example of an episodic uh, uh, choice game. Then RJ86, then you're really, like, I would say you're then overdoing it crazy. If it's as, if it's not as painful. I don't know what you're doing, but... I've enjoyed playing tennis at school in summer, but besides that, there's no courts where I live. Yeah, that's the thing with tennis. Tennis, like, you need outdoor courts. While with, like, badminton, you can just go to a local sports center, and they have, like, you know, uh, courts inside where they would have... But anywhere where there's a basketball court, which is a lot of them in, like, sports centers, then you can play badminton. While uh, tennis, you need a lot more space. We are now approaching... Atherstone. This is your London Midland service to crew or something, I don't know. Should we do a, uh, a visual approach? I don't know if we can. Where's, where's Atherstone? Yeah, we could... Uh, where's the stop marker? Oh, it's all the way here, damn. Yeah, we could uh, give it a give it a whirl. The next train approaching platform one is the 1359 London Midland service to Crew. Or am I going towards Crew or am I going towards London? I think I'm going to towards Crew. Oh, I just need to take a quick bam of that, actually. I went 
tubing at my cottage and I hurt every part of my body because of hitting the water. Yeah, slapping yourself against the water, like if you do like a, a jump or something, is just it, it really, really painful. Oh my god, I've been taking pictures with my, uh, with my HUD, I just realised. <laughs> Fire, uh, Firewatch Life is Strange Telltale Games. Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. I played through Firewatch, really enjoyed it. Uh, played through episode one of Life is Strange and really enjoyed that. Uh, it depends on the game. I I'm not really fond of Telltale games. I've never really played them. I've se I know what they are. I've seen playthroughs and stuff of them. But uh, Firewatch, I thought, was a really good game. Like that, I, I got so engaged into that game. It was so the storytelling in that game was phenomenal. When am I recording those announcements? What announcements? Am I supposed to be recording announcements? I tried Mark Price Story Mode and Walking Dead 3 on Android. Neither of them are really that interesting for me. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the 9 ones are going to be used for what, the Grand Central, Blackpool to London route. Yeah. That's a bit annoying. That's, that's kind of like backtracking, not getting nice new Pendolinos. Going to be just using scrappy old 9 ones. Good timing, actually. That was actually really good time, timing for that. Safety reasons. What? What? How does that make sense? Pendolinos run on the existing route. What's the safety concern? I don't understand that. Okay, start saying. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll try that. <clears throat> right. Uh, the next station is Tamworth. Oh fuck no! Let me let me start that again. Let me start that again. Let me start that again. The next station is Tamworth. This is your London Midland service to Stafford, calling at Tamworth, Litchfield, Rugley, and Stafford. Yeah, is that, is that good enough? Don't know. Oh, wait, was I supposed to go? This train terminates here. I don't know. Nice, cool, 75 miles an hour. I love it. Not gonna lie, I like the 9 ones uh, comfort-wise. They're very nice. Yeah, I'm sure they are, actually, to be honest. Wait, what station is this? P 
Polesworth. Polesworth. Oh, is this the station that only has one platform? I think I saw this station. Yeah, I saw this station on a uh, on a uh, all the stations, right? Another. Gotta respect the Virgin Pendolino. As they do in the real life, they record one file for each station on the network and then it's mixed together. Really? Hmm. So you've also been watching all the stations? Of course I've been watching all the stations, of course. I'm a long time viewer of like the Londonist and Jeff's and Vicky's kind of content, definitely. I do I watch comedy shorts gamer? No, I do not. Have you ever stood up on a pendolino while it's tilting? It's a lot of fun. I've never been on a pendolino. Never really needed to be. <laughs> Coming up to Tamworth now. Three, three, two in the game. Yeah, that'd be cool. But you can't go to Heathrow, so there's no point of having it really, because it only does one little line. The triple freeze, maybe, but there's no real like northern kind of Leeds area kind of content. The Virgin Pentadina. Tamworth is a nice station. Uh, have been on lower station down platform as we didn't go. Uh, as we didn't know if Sir Nigel Greasy was going by Tamworth or Birmingham. Okay. Another Virgin Pendolino there. And I think you can hear it, but you can't see it. There is a, uh, there is a, there is a uh, cross country thing here, which I don't have the skin for, so that's why you can hear it, but you can't see it.
Oh, hello. Oh no, I, I lie. This is a. This is a. I didn't even know this. Huh. I absolutely didn't know this. I didn't know there was an upper level platform. Lol. So I do have the skins and stuff. Okay, cool. Good game. <laughs> See you, Simon. Thanks for tuning in, man. Enjoy your vacation to Germany, to the Deutschland. Next station is Litchfield. Yeah, I should. I I I just remembered that you did say something about lower level, but then I just it just completely went out of my mind and didn't I didn't think of it when I was looking around. I just assumed oh like uh, oh. Uh, like, yeah, this is just this station and it's just some above that I can't see the train. But then I'm like, oh yeah, there is an upper level now when I look up and then realised, oh yeah, Randolator Rand did tell me that there was a lower level. <laughs> yes, Benjamin, uh, Benjamin BA123, this is live. Or maybe it's not, and this is just a trick. No, just joking, it is live. Welcome to the stream. Run from Stansted Airport to Birmingham. Oh, nice. West Coast Mainline overhead can, uh, cantonary is uh, always looks cool. Yeah, they actually look really good. Why do you need HS2? <laughs> you have this. Just improve this. Make this high speed, you know. Approaching Litchfield. Do you remember me? Uh, I remember your name. I don't remember you personally. I remember I do have quite a lot of people that watch me and I see loads of names each day, so. But I do remember. I do remember a Benjamin. Yes, I do. I don't know if there's multiple Benjamins, though, so if you might be one of many. I think HS2 is just a bit of a vanity project. Like, I feel like if we want to get high speed, we need to make, like, I don't know. I feel this country will never fully be high speed. Like, it's sad to think, but, like, it's, as I've said in previous streams, like, when I've, like, talked about high speed, this country is built on Victorian railways. It's not built on high speed. Other countries have developed from the beginning, that beginning, like, their goal was high speed. So they're literally like, like say China and Japan, they've all built their like their networks and stuff based on like they want to build high speed. While the UK's just built upon its Victorian system, 
Like, that's, that's it. Like, uh, you know, we have HS1. That's the only one. And pretty much the only reason HS1 is, like, it was easy for, for, to do is because it was already there with Eurostar. What do you use to play TS? What do you mean, what do I use to play TS? Oh, this has a... Never noticed these platforms here. Whoa, what is this? Litchfield Trent Valley. Is this a terminus station? Why is it like only one really staggered platform? Like, where does the other train stop? But that's cool though, I like that. The upper levels are used by 3 2 3s. Yeah, I would think so, because Lich is. I, I swear Lichfield Trent Valley is like a terminus for the 3 2 3s. Or is, is it not? Is it a bit like further down somewhere? I know Lichfield is a, some sort of terminus or something like that. But this is cool. Will we ever get 3 2 3s in this game? What controls? Uh, what do you mean, like, ma I use mouse and keyboard? The class 745 flirts. Uh, Danny Minecraft T, uh, t uh, Minecraft E, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the three two three sound like retarded Siemens four fifties or three fifties. Or no, a more retarded four six five. Can you stream to YouTube as well, please? Uh, no, I just I only stream on Twitch. I put highlights on YouTube from Twitch, but I I, I chose not to stream on both platforms again. No, it just doesn't make sense. I like the original 465 brush motor. It had an original motor. Did it sound more like crazy with the brush motor? Runs to red inch. Okay. The 745s, uh, those ones made by, St uh, they're going to be made by Stater. They look really cool. They're like, but they're the weird ones that have only one double leaf door per carriage, which I don't know how that's going to work. That's going to be very interesting in rush hour, so... You know, Twitch isn't working well for me. Uh, you should... If you press the uh, cog wheel, I don't know... And then you, ch and you change... Could, can you change the quality of the stream? Because sometimes, uh, sometimes I get transcoding. So you'll be able to change the quality of the stream, uh, the stream to like a lower setting. I, I don't I will not stream on YouTube anymore. If 
for me, YouTube is not for streaming. It's just not a light. You know, some people you might, might like it or whatever, but I don't know. What to what? Change it to a low quality. If you're having problems like buffering or something like that, then change it to a lower setting. If your internet can't, like, how, like change it to 480 or I don't know. If it, that's if you have the quality settings, though. Like it, sometimes my stream doesn't have those settings where you'd only have to watch it in one quality setting. Ru is it rougely or ruggily? I think it's rougely. I'm gonna go with rougely. It does have it today. Well, then there you go. You have trans. I have transcoding on the stream today. If you have problems, what's buffering? Well, all this staggering and stuff is the game right now for me. But if you're actually having buffering issues, then do change it. I advise you to change it to a lower quality. I think it is rougely. I think it's rougely. Not ruggily. Rougely, I don't know. Do you hate when you test someone and they don't reply? What do you mean, test someone? What controls are you using? I'm using the default controls for train sim. Ah, rougely. Okay, cool. No problem, no tech TV. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I sorry, I apologize for the beginning part where we were just looking at mods and stuff like that. Oh my god, the FPS. Jesus Christ, this 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 route's just not optimized at all. Well most of train sims not optimized at all, but you know. I hope to see you in another stream, no tech TV. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good end to the rest of your day or beginning of your day. I don't know where you are, but Do you accelerate with the keyboard? Yeah, with A and D. Nicely detailed, but like, yeah, I feel this this route's actually very nicely detailed, but it's just it's it's really laggy as hell. Oh, is that a one seventy? I see. Good amount of AI in this in this uh, uh, in this route. Really impressed with it. I did kind of pass the marker slightly. Yeah, it was supposed to be here. Birmingham New Street, eh? Like these flowers are really nice, you know. They're actually 3D models. Actually, no, wait. Nope, they're 3D models. I think. Wow, that 170 just engaged there. I doubt we're leaving at the same time. It would be really cool if we did. 
How do you do the doors? You press T. When I close the doors with T, they don't. They open, you don't. Uh, the game closes the doors for you. There's only a few. Um, there's only a few trains in the game, but are generally third party, that uh, you can close the doors yourself, and you press normally R to close the doors. I think you arrived too early. Really? What? Me arrive early? What? Oh, I did. Fourteen twenty-four. That's good. That should be normally. That that'll be normally good. Next station is Stafford. Is this train gonna go? Don't know. Oh no, it joins up on my on my thing as well. Ah. So it's probably waiting for me to depart. Possibly. Would you ever go to Toronto? Uh maybe, I don't know. Apparently London Midland are fitting on board television to their 350 in app form. Uh, what, what 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 would that mean, though? Uh, how long does the stream? I don't know. A couple of scenarios, maybe. Oh, it'll be going the other way. Okay. I get yeah. Why would you want TV on a train? Maybe in first class. Maybe I don't know. Like having a screen at the back of the uh, seat, like like on an aeroplane. But uh, I don't know. I see you in a bit, Benjamin. So in a bit, you have to keep ninety. Log into their Wi-Fi and get free movies and entertainment. I guess. I, I wouldn't be watching entertainment in, in rush hour packed in the middle of a carriage, but okay. Seventy speed coming up. I just usually listen to music on the train slash bus. Uh, Wi-Fi for me isn't great. Yeah. Yeah, listening to music is generally what I do if I'm traveling on the train. Have I been on the Heathrow Express? No. Have any been on the Gatwick Express? Like, 
generally when I go to Heathrow, I just take a cab. Um, I've been there one time with the Piccadilly line, but I wouldn't advise that unless it's like the middle of the day. Heathrow Express has TV, isn't it? Well, Heathrow Express is special. It's a special service. It's not really like an, any other kind of... Because it's like... Yeah. Like, the thing is, the Gatwick Express, I don't really see that as like a... It is a dedicated service, but like Heathrow Express is just something special. It's just like, you know, it's... It's like really upmarket. While the Gatwick Express is just a commoner's train, really. The girl on the train, though. Next station is Stafford, though. The scenario ends. Back when the 460s were around, the Gatwick Express was lit. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, the 442s were good. I've been on them, mainly been on them when I used the Gatwick Express, and I really like them. They're really comfortable. Um, uh, they're great. They're great trains. I've always enjoyed when I went on them, because I always went on times when no one was on board, so it was just perfect. You had the whole carriage to yourself. You could do whatever. It was fantastic. Stanford Express is just like standard again. It's it's just common class, really. Like it goes probably ranking like uh, airport expresses. Probably Heathrow Express. Then I think then everything else. Whoa. whoa. Did it automatically just break me? Really? Like, I knew that the red light was coming up, but a bit odd. Danger. Mm. Oh my god. This map. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just being held up here at a red signal. We're just waiting for the switches to change to allow us into platform 3 at Stafford, where this train terminates. Thank you.
I don't know where the 707s will go. They're being used, they're gonna be used on Southwest trains till the new trains get there, I think. That's what I've heard. Um, weirdly, apparently they've been testing. They've been apparently doing some test runs along the East Coast, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the East Coast, the East London line uh, with the 378s, which I don't know, but um, Seven oh sevens on London Overground? Had question mark, maybe. Cause remember that seven oh sevens are five car. Three seven eights are five car. Three seven eights are walk it walk through carriages. Seven oh sevens are walk through carriages. Just put the dots together, maybe. I doubt it though, but apparently like Apparently there there have been some sightings of 707s uh, working the, uh, well not working, te being tested just doing empty runs on the East London line. But it says in the top of the task list that the train goes to crew, but I terminate at Stafford. The train doesn't, but I terminate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the train does not terminate at Stafford. I terminate at Stafford. This train carries on to crew. Thank you. Are you happy, Randallator? Are you happy? They should go to Southern. Mm. Yeah, mm. I don't think they will go to Southern because, uh, Govia don't have, uh, they don't have, they don't have any links or business relations with Siemens. They're predominantly Bombardier. They're, literally, Govia's network is pretty much just an Electrostar for, like, you know, the end of the, till the end of the world, really. So, I'd be very surprised if Govia... You know, because Govia is, as I said, just mainly Electrostar. Oh, there's a. Is that the driver that's supposed to relieve me? Oh. Well, mate, I had a laggy journey here. You can continue. I will not care. I can take this bad boy home. Staffordshire University, home of the great minds. Govia runs Thameslink. Oh yeah, Thameslink has things. Oh yeah. No. Oh, oh. Yeah, I just remembered that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Question mark. I don't know. Maybe. Well, the other driver should take over from me. Cool. I totally forgot about that. She's 700 run on Thameslink. 